Hello and welcome on back everybody. It has been some time. Sorry for the wait, but I got everything kind of set up. Also had some issues along the way and lost progress in a few of my games. Don't know how they correlated with each other, but they kind of did. Minecraft and Elden Ring are really the only two games I've been playing lately. And it lost progress in both of them. Elden Ring broke completely. Don't know why, don't know how, but it did. Dawncraft is the only pack that I've been having issues with. So we lost our progress in the other world. I'm not gonna do another take. I started up a new one. As you see, it is still in hardcore. For some reason, the last world I selected hardcore, but it didn't actually start in hardcore. I don't know why, but it didn't. I didn't die or anything. You'll see why when I get into this one. But this is still gonna be take one, day three. I only spent two days in here, found a village, and just kind of settled down. But we're gonna pick up from there and roll with it. So we are continuing day three. Also, my sound is gonna be a little different. I still got to go through and change some things around. But for the most part, I got everything up and running. Let's go ahead and dig into it. I forgot how long it takes to load a world. I should have I should have went through all that as I load up the world. Also, I have it so my little avatar guy floats around while I talk. Thought I would do something new since I'm on a new setup. Hopefully, I thought that with this new setup, it was going to be a lot easier to run this pack. No, it, it wasn't. It really wasn't. I'll see you guys in world here in a sec. All right, that took, uh, that took quite a while. All right, so one of the things I need to learn how to do is accept quests from these guys. They have quests. I just can't accept any of them. And I don't know how or what mod. I don't know what mod. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know what mod it is that gives reputation. What is this? Guest spawn? Interesting. I'm sure there's a lot. <laughs> Alright, so I am held up up here. I did a test stream the other day to kind of see if everything would hold up. And it did. I only streamed for like, what, an hour? Two hours? Just to, just to test. Wasn't gonna be an actual stream. But I am looking for sound feedback. Cause I had to do a very roundabout way. A very roundabout way to get access to sound. Like, I think everything is still a little bit too loud. Go 60. But yeah, this is where I'm going to be hauled up. And also, what I was talking about before, if you look down at the bottom left, the hearts are hearts and not to other hearts. Yeah, I don't know what else you would call it. But yeah, I laid claim to this house. Now I'm making torches.
All that good stuff. I do need to chop down some more trees, though. I need more wood. But another thing that I'm going to have to keep in mind is every time there's an update, I am now going to make sure back up my save portion because usually it backs up on its own but when it messed up it literally destroyed all the other backups so i had i have to restart from the ground up luckily we didn't get very far to begin with so it's fine It is fine. So the first thing I want to get going, honestly, is Ares. Ares was so handy that I want it. I want the book. I want to see if I can use the book in my offhand. I need all the tools and a book. We need to get iron. Which honestly is why I was not seeing torches or coal. I was gonna start a mine shaft right here, right under my house. Because this is gonna be the mine shaft I'm going down. I have a neighbor. I don't know how. Because I can't even trade with them. Right? I can't. I'm not sure why. Well, I know why. There's a reputation system. But I don't know how to build up said reputation with them. I know how to lose reputation. But I don't know how to gain reputation. I've discovered how to lose it. And I just need to figure out how to gain it. Good bird. If I break this while he's there, will I lose reputation? No. If I give you some carrots, will it increase my reputation? What's with the power? good to know that I don't lose reputation by harvesting the crops that they have. I do know I lose reputation when I take some of their stuff, of course, which I have not really looted much of their stuff. Because of that. Like, these guys are merchants and I can't even do business with them. No one likes me. No one likes me. I just realized that those are bone blocks. Yeah, this is one thing I need to figure out. I also forgot that I have a display capture that I really need to get used to. It is not really display capture. I forgot to open up something. That's why my mouse wasn't working, nor was it so fast. That's why my hotkeys weren't working. Anyways. It's not really a display capture. It's just capturing my gaming PC. Yeah, it's just capturing my gaming PC with the Elgano. Which is another weird workaround I had to do. 
Because my gaming monitor is bigger than the Elgato can capture. Which shouldn't really matter because in OBS I just go with 19. Or like the, the traditional HD. Right? Let's go with the traditional one. So I'm upscaling and then downscaling. There's a boss over there? I don't know, it's weird. Because it stretched out on this monitor it looks absolutely hideous. Oh. That did damage. I need to get to... It does suck that I did lose... I did lose my crossbow. That crossbow was sick. I need to get some armor. I'm trying to bring this thing over to the golems so they fight it. And they can care less about it. Okay. I might die. This thing hurts. When I say it hurts, it hurts a lot. And it's fast, too. I need to get into a building. I don't know where the door is. That thing sucked. building I don't need to be in first person it was meant to be in third person I gotta wait for those things to despawn because there's a few of them over by my place I need to get my hands on iron I see something very valuable over here though Something I can't do without. I should probably live by the beach. I have access to water until I get iron. Make buckets. Oh. Now I have access to string. There's bees right there. Lobsters over here. Oh, I lied. Living next to the water is a terrible idea. So if I can get Ari's going, I can at least have some range that I could do. Bird following me because I'm holding seats. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go replace one of the crops with Flux. This villager is going to start destroying his own crops. Feels bad. 
There's another village that way. I think should have despawned by now. Hopefully. They all did. I think it's mostly just water. I don't see how there could be another village thing set up over here 500 blocks away. Unless it's a dock town. I, there is dock towns. Oh. I, there's a pirate ship. Okay. I don't know if the ocean is a scary place. I know there's whales. I do know that there's whales. What's over here? I would like to get my hands on some, uh, some epic fight skill books. I haven't actually explored all of my island or place. I've barely done anything. I spawn like over here. Watched a villager get chased by a cat. And then found the village because of that. Oh, so there is goblins over here. What was that? Is that a coconut? Coconuts just fall? Oh, okay. Maybe... Maybe the ocean is a scary place. I don't know what this is. Wait, is it those mushroom guys? I feel like it's those mushroom guys. I feel like it's those mushroom guys stuff. Arching your village again. So I'm trying to just get my bearings on what get going first. And I want to get... Are you up and running? I think that's going to be my best option because it will both provide me with utility. I feel like it's super close. It would provide me with both utility and offense. Where is the FOV? I never messed with the FOV slider, so I don't know. Where it is. Huh. I'm a little scared with the mess with the graphics stuff because I know how touchy this mod pack is. 
This is everything that I have so far. Not too much. What did I do? Did I break my... Oh, I pressed F1. I forgot that I was collecting these. So I can make sticks. Thirty two. I need to get more wood. Fine. We can now dig farther into the mine shaft. at the start and I would say I can set up I don't know how I'm gonna get the villagers to interact where I want them to though I can't even interact with them so I can't even get mending at least until I figure out how to interact with them it's clearly there's a step I am missing. I really hope I don't have to defend them with a raid first. I know I will get a skill book if I defend a village with a raid. But I want to trade with them. And I can't do that right now. I can somehow get down here. I can probably get iron a lot faster. Or if I can somehow get one of these iron golems to flourish. They don't drown. There's already an iron golem in the water. Ouch. Suffocating them will take ages. And they don't attack goblins. And for some reason, all the villagers are just dogpiling under here. Maybe if I find a biome that just has stone on top, I can get a good amount of iron from the get-go. I need quite a bit. I'll just like find some iron tools. Oh, I got some coconut crabs. Right next to a snowy biome, too. At least there's copper on the surface. Pretty sure I can use copper at some point. Is that gravel? There's a I would say I'd help you man, but I don't want to hit you or get hit by you
If this alligator wasn't here. Ooh. It's hostile. I thought those things were peaceful. Everything is out. Keep me. I'm trying to think since I'm stuck in town, what can I do? I can't do the normal means of just looting a town for loots and treasures. Nighttime is dangerous, so I can't really do that. I mean, I can loot the place if no one's around. So, stealing. But there's no armorer in this town. I wonder if I can get this creeper to blow up on the iron golem. Did like no damage to him. I guess that's to be expected. Dang, there are a lot of you up here. This village is... Has a lot of people in it. So there's a lot of bread in there. This village does have a lot of people in it. I'm sure this is the mushroom. So the mushroom people that we see. They're mushrooms. I didn't do very much this episode. Just kind of wandered around trying to figure out what to do. I want to get all these going, but I need iron. And I can't rob the village because then they won't like me. And if they don't like me, the iron gold will start attacking me. And this is really the only safe place I have right now. And I don't want to risk too much. Will you help me? No. No, you won't. I can't reach it. Ooh. I forgot how much damage it does. And it does a lot of damage. Good lord. This is why I need a range option and why I want a spell book. I also need armor. I can't make armor because there's like no leather anywhere. There's no cows.
Let's see if there's any other chest piece I can make. Okay, that'd be enough. I don't know if they're hostile or not. Well, I don't know if it's just a birch forest, but... It was mushroom thing hurt. They can easily two... Two tap me. And it's right there, too. Did it just despawn? No. That's got a render distance. <sighs> I feel like this is going to be a very hard... Very hard pack to get started. But... That is all the time we have today. So if you guys have any feedback in sound or the quality of the video, do let me know. Because I am still messing with the settings, getting everything good to go. Well, I guess it is good to go. It's the wrong, wrong term to use. Anyways, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I don't sound too bad. Or maybe I sound better than before. I don't know. You all tell me. Thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Thank you for watching.